first of all, hip hop is not just a culture, it's a new civilization. Okay. Hip hop is one of the oldest cultures on earth. It is the first thing that human beings do when they come into existence. Yes. Breaking, MCing, graffiti art, DJing. Breaking is dance. The earliest form of human communication anywhere is dance. How you move. Move according to nature, move according to the fish, the lions, the gazelles, the trees, this is what hominin humans did. Yes. This is early human, Neanderthals, uh, Rhodesia man, uh, Australopithecus, uh, early hominin human. The reason most sociologists don't regard hip hop as a culture is because they don't respect you. Okay. That's the issue, or me. They don't respect us as people. Any culture, you could say the fans that went to see the Miami Heat play basketball, that's a culture. <laughs> um, politics in uh, Washington, D.C., I guess, where I'm from, that's a culture. Now, those would be called subcultures, meaning you have blacks, whites, Asians, Indigenous cultures all coming together to say uh, uh, be online. Everybody's online. So there's an online culture. There's an online subculture. Anytime groups of humans come together for one thing, they form culture. Now that's the textbook. I don't know the sociologists that can't see that. It's, they're ignorant. Not us. They are. That's a subculture. Hip hop is a civilization. Now let me go back. Breaking. First things that human beings do is dance. Next thing human beings do is utter. This is MCing. Not language. This is before language. This is before organized language. Before all that. Uh, no, uh, no. That is called MCing. Sociologists only know rap which is the commercial version of MCing. Their knowledge is small, not ours. We are MCs, E-M-C-E-E-I-N, MCing, spelled just like that, E-M-C-E-E-I-N, MCing. And the reason we spell it like that, and DJing, and writing like that, is because we call these uh, expressions of ours, elements. These are the elements. Breaking, I'm seeing graffiti or DJing. These are elements. So whenever you write elements, at least the chemical society of the world writes their elements as penicillin, mucin. Um, uh, it goes on and on with the way you spell the way you spell chemical elements. Now most people look at breaking, I'm seeing the graffiti or DJing and says, oh, just some black kids dancing. That's their prejudice. If we just look at the facts, we call our expression elements. We spell them as elements, not slang language, MCing, E M C E E I N G. So because we say MCing, we drop the G. Uh uh. We purposely leave the G off because the G doesn't exist. We're talking about elements. The elements are what we're talking about. Now let's come back. Breaking. First things human do, dance. Second things human do, utter. Beatboxing. <laughs> Music with your body. That's ancient, ancient, ancient. Before, go to the great Buddha mm -hmm. in Asia. The, the sign language, the hand movements of the Buddha, each have significance into the mind of the person watching. If the Buddha does this, it means one thing. If the Buddha does that, it means something else. So when you see women dancing like this, and they do it like the women in India, in Asia, and they dance it like this, they're speaking. Sign language was the first language. Before human beings could speak, we spoke in sign language. We hit body, the head, the. We spoke like this. 
utter and used our hands. That's emceeing and beatboxing. Beatboxing is a form of emceeing. Graffiti art. Today it's called graffiti art. But anywhere you go in the world, graffiti art is the world's oldest art. Again, hominin humans. In Toulouse, France, they found stenciled human hands, which they call graffiti, by the way. Mm -hmm. 32,000 years old. This is early. This is before modern man. This is before homo sapiens. This is, hip-hop is before all of that. This is hominin humans doing graffiti. What is graffiti? My self-expression in art on a wall. The earliest form of graffiti, berry juice in the mouth, blow it onto the cave wall so you see my hand and check it out. They blew it. They didn't draw, they didn't pick up a, a pen and write this stuff, no. They put juice in their mouth and spit it onto the wall over their hands so they make an impression with their hands. This is known science. This is science all over the world. The earliest writing, the earliest human writing ever is graffiti. It's called graffiti by anthropologists, archaeologists, sociologists. Go from there to what is called rock art. Rock art is the oldest form of art. We call it black books and we write our stuff, but ancient, ancient humans wrote on rocks, trees, no human on earth writes like this naturally. This is social indoctrination to write like this. If you give a baby a pen or any writing material, a child, any writing material, they'll go right to the wall. Yes. No human, if you give them a, t a pencil, a young kid, you give them a pencil, they're going to go like this. Show me a table. Mm -mm. They're going to take the pen and out of their own natural self, they're going to go right to a wall and start writing a wall. And the first thing they're going to write is their name. This is known all over the world. This is, this doesn't, it doesn't matter what sociologists think. We have higher knowledge. They need to learn before opening their mouth. Now the last thing, DJ. Cutting, mixing, scratching. Woo! First of all, I just get excited talking about hip hop. DJing is not turntables and the technology. That's not DJing. Serato is not DJing. Technique turn, not DJing. Beatboxing, not DJing. Cutting, mixing, scratching, that's DJing. What the human does to technology is DJing. Technology can never tell the human how to DJ. Never. That's not, that's something else. If you talk about hip hop DJ, D E E J A Y I N, yes. DJ, cutting, mixing, scratching, invented by Grandmaster Flash and progressed by Grand Wizard Theodore. Cutting, mixing, scratching. Now, look at these elements of early human, early hominid dance, utterance, self expression through art, cutting. Mixing, scratching, which by the way, to an early hominin, when you, when you cut or mix something, like for instance, scratching will give you fire. Cutting is uh, like when you, when you get an animal or you, you hunt animals or you are uh, looking through trees, you're cutting herbs and things like that. Early humans, the cutters, were called stonemasons. Starts with stone. Cut, cut, cut. That activity is what we are doing today. It's what we're doing. We, when we hear that, that jiki, jiki, jiki. when early humans did that, jiki, 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 woo, fire came up. Or they carved, they ripped off a hide. Somebody's skin got pulled off because they're cutting it. With a, with, a, with a thing. Mixing, the blending of things that don't suppose to blend. This is early human psychology, early, to take this and make it match with this. How do you do that? It's called high intelligence. Now, 
the education that we receive today is all about the destruction of the ancient hominid. This is why we can't find, uh, this is why hip hop's true history has not been written down yet or even properly researched. Because hip hop's history is not the history of rap music. That's why they think it's not a culture, because they say, oh, rap is a, a, a music genre. It's not a culture. Rap is not a culture. Rap is a subculture, like reggae, jazz, gospel. That's rap. But what rap comes from, what causes you to rap, is called hip-hop. And that is a behavior. That's not music. That's an ancient way to be. That this society, this this colonial society that invades nations and occupies other people's territories, they could never let you know this truth about yourself. Never. And this goes worldwide. This is worldwide. It's not just black, Native American. Mm -mm. All people on the planet are hip-hop. All humans are hip-hop. All of them. Every last one. Some know it, mm -hmm. and some don't know it. That's the only difference. But, so let me come back to culture. Now, let's talk legally. Okay, we talked about anthropology, archaeology. Okay, that can't be, I don't know who thinks hip-hop is not a culture, and we're the first culture on earth. We're human culture. What everybody's trying to get away from. Put that to the side. Come now to legal. What's a culture? A culture is any time a group of people de declare themselves a culture. Now, forget, let's say all the anthropology, man, eh, throw it out the window. Throw the science out the window. If I'm in power, I say I'm a culture, and you gotta agree with it. How can you tell me I'm not who I say I am? If I tell you I'm Japanese, how are you going to tell me I'm not? I'm telling you I'm Japanese. You say, no, but wait, Chris, you're black. You got hair, your nose, your lips, and your skin, you're black, Chris. I say, no, I'm Japanese. Now, either you respect me enough to say, then let me treat you like a Japanese person. Because you say you're Japanese. How can someone outside of you tell you who you are? That's so racist, classist, ignorant, and this is how this is what hip hop is being confronted with. I'm telling you I'm hip hop. All you're supposed to do is go, uh-huh. <laughs> That's it. What opinion do you have if I say I am hip hop? You gonna tell me I'm not? That's like a, a, a Greek, a, a Greek man, a woman say I'm Greek. They say no, you're not. <laughs> Wait a minute. What are you? I'm Greek. No, you're not. Someone says, I'm, a, I'm an electrician. I, I'm an engineer. I'm a doctor. I'm a chef. Someone says, no, you're not. What right do they have to tell you you're not? The only way somebody could say you're not what you are is if you're not being it. Like if I say, I'm Japanese, but everything I do is African then you got all the right to say, you ain't Japanese, get the hell out of here. But if I'm coming to you with dome arigato and <laughs> wearing the, I'm speaking the language, I'm wearing the clothes, I'm eating the food, I know the history, my wife, my kids, or my husband, my whatever, we living out Japanese life, we living it out right now. No one on earth could tell me I'm not Japanese. Especially if I go now, join the Japanese army, fighting Japanese wars. Other Japanese people will accept me and say, no, he's not black, he's our brother, he's Japanese with us. No outside person could ever tell you who you are, ever. Now, that's just legal. I am hip hop. Now, you have to prove that I'm not. Not me. I know who I am. I'm hip hop. You have to say, oh, you don't agree. You don't. Who cares if you agree or not? I know who I am. Now let's go further into legal. 
May 16th, 2001, we took hip hop to the United Nations and we declared hip hop an international culture with UNESCO. The sociologists need to do more work, do more research, get some more. This is historical fact. We spoke, we was at Kofi Annan was the, Kofi Annan's office was the overseeing office of our event. Our event is well documented. You can look it up, everybody knows it. We went to the UN, the UN accepted us. Forget these sociologists that don't know nothing. The UN, U, the, 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 what is called UNESCO, United Nations Education, Scientific and Cultural, Cultural Organization, UNESCO, said hip hop is a world culture. They said it. We went to the United Nations to accept the world culture status. I was there, of course. I was a keynote speaker. We spoke of hip-hop being the culture. We signed something called a Hip-Hop Declaration of Peace, which the United Nations has as well. 300 delegates were there at our ceremony. It wasn't just me and a couple of my boys. Everybody showed up and documented it. Now, if these sociologists today don't have enough education, that's their problem. But hip-hop is a global culture. 